Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. In this video, uh, we will learn the radiographic evaluation of facial fractures. Uh, after careful clinical assessment of the facial area, radiographs should be taken to provide additional information about facial injuries. In cases of severe facial trauma, cervical spine injuries should be ruled out with a complete cervical spine series uh, before any manipulation of the neck. Uh, the cervical spine series uh, include cross table, view, odontoid, and oblique views. The facial uh, radiographic examination should depend to some degree on clinical findings and su suspected injury. So uh, hazards are excessive radiographic examination should be avoided. In patient with facial trauma, the purpose of radiographs should be to confirm the suspected uh, clinical diagnosis, obtained information that, that may not be clear from the clinical examination uh, and more accurately determine the extent of the injury. Uh, radiograph uh, should be obtained uh, for at least uh, two uh, different angles to uh, appreciate the uh, abnormality or fracture uh, more accurately. Radiographic evaluation of the mandible uh, can require two or more of the uh, four radiographic views. Uh, that is the panoramic view, open mouth view, that is the reverse tongue view uh, more accurately. Uh, posterior anterior view uh, and a lateral oblique views. Uh, here in this uh, radiographic picture, uh, you can see the posterior anterior view uh, uh, to demonstrate a fracture uh, in the angle area of the mandible. Uh, this is a lateral oblique view shows a fracture in the uh, angle area. Uh, this is a reverse tongue view, shows a uh, displacement of the condylar fracture. Uh, this panoramic view uh, uh, shows a displaced fracture uh, of the left mandibular body uh, and a right uh, subcondylar fracture. Occasionally, even these radiographs do not provide adequate information. Uh, therefore, Supplemental radiographs, including occlusal or periapical uh, views, uh, may be helpful. Computed uh, tomography scans, axial views without intravenous contrast medium may provide information not obtainable from plain radiographs or when cervical spine precautions or other injuries do not permit standard facial films. CG scanning is used to rule out neurologic injury in many patients with facial trauma, and this can also be used to supplement the radiographic evaluation. So uh, CT uh, images are being obtained uh, as a primary radiographic analysis for uh, patients with facial fractures, therefore eliminating the plain uh, film analysis uh, all together. Uh, in addition, uh, the widespread availability of cone beam CT in the outpatient setting has allowed for a three-dimensional analysis at relatively low radiation doses, therefore replacing multiple plane film analysis. Evaluation of mid-face uh, fracture historically has been supplemented with a standard radiographic views, including water views, uh, lateral skull view, posterior anterior skull view, and uh, submental vertex view. Here you can see the water views. It shows uh, orbital rim uh, fracture on both sides. Similarly, there is a fracture in the zygomatico frontal area, and there is a fracture in the zygomatico maxillary uh, buttress area. Uh, so, uh, in this, another uh, radiographic picture, uh, this shows, uh, this is basically a lateral skull view that illustrates a leaf or tree fracture or craniofacial uh, separation 
the fracture uh, line or arrows uh, separates the mid face uh, from the uh, cranium. Uh, this is a submental vertex uh, demonstrates a zygomatic uh, arch fracture. Uh, however, because of the diff difficulty of interpreting plane radiographs of the mid face, uh, more sophisticated techniques, that is the CT scan are currently used. So CT scan is the most commonly used radiographic technique for evaluation of the uh, mid-phase uh, trauma. The ability to evaluate fractures in uh, several planes of space and to visualize the entire skull, uh, mid-phase and mandible with three-dimensional reconstruction provides invaluable information for diagnosis and treating complex facial trauma. Uh, here you can see a, a tomographic view that demonstrates a disruption of orbital floor. Uh, computer tomography scan uh, showing disruption of the uh, medial wall and uh, uh, floor of the right orbit. Uh, you can appreciate uh, this uh, uh, difference in the normal appearance of the uh, maxillary sinus on the left side, whereas uh, maxillary sinus on the right side is reduced in size due to the presence of the uh, fluid or a blood due to the disruption of the uh, floor of the orbit. Similarly, when you come to the medial uh, wall of the orbit, uh, here is also you can appreciate the disruption of the medial wall, or, and so the uh, hyper dense is compared to the uh, left side, or you can say a hazy or opacified area of the um, uh, of the ethmoidal air sinus is compared to the uh, left side. That is a nar normal appearance you can appreciate. Uh, so th this scan shows the disruption of the floor of the orbit as well as the uh, medial wall of the orbit. This uh, uh, is a 3D uh, uh, scan of the patient with uh, multiple facial uh, fractures. Thank you. Have a nice, nice time.